the obvious features is the, the Elios 2's cage doesn't actually rotate anymore. Uh, the Elios 1 was designed for uh, actual contact inspection. So the Elios cage allowed you to, to crawl up walls, go through tunnels, uh, whereas the Elios 2 is designed for a GPS-less uh, environment um, and it is en enables you to actually get up close without actually making contact. So they've, uh, they've redesigned the cage and they've actually fixed the camera on the front that you can see here. With the, uh, the adaptation of the, the fixed cage, uh, Flybilly had to, to think of a way of allowing the camera, which has now been adapted to the front of the, the cage, uh, if you are to hit a surface, it just springs back into its cage. So compared to the Elios 1, the actual uh, visual camera has been upgraded significantly. You're now talking a 4K camera. Um, and for the likes of inspection, if you, if you want to take that post-process, you can actually zoom in. Um, which is brilliant for looking at, at cracks for, um, for areas that you know, needed more detail but you couldn't get uh, on the actual first, uh, first job. Still obviously got the, um, the thermal camera, so for the likes of internal inspection, up close looking for leaks or even just to get your orientation, it's perfect. Uh, but it's also now got 180 degrees of orientation, so it can look directly up and it can look directly down. And because the cage is not in interfering, uh, you've got a, a completely clear uh, and clean image. So to get that continuity of data, uh, obviously when you're doing an inspection of a wall or you're going up or down, uh, basically it's got three different sensors in the front of the drone uh, and that actually calculates the, the distance away from a, of a, of an object, of a surface. Um, so you can actually stick that into an unlock mode, a distance lock. The distance lock uh, feature uh, it can actually detect uh, surfaces up to up to 10 metres, uh, but you can actually put a distance lock up to 30 centimetres away, which allows you to, to maintain that, that distance and, and have a, a valid inspection. Flybilly Range Extender is um, an, a, an extension, basically, going to aid for the antenna. Um, so if you're going into, into manholes where you've got to, to go through culverts uh, to, to areas where you can't physically see uh, or your, your, your actual controller can't reach, uh, the range extender can be lowered down, it's about 30 metres long, uh, and it can be lowered down into these areas where the, the drone can then get a full uh, ampli amplitude of, of the actual data uh, through, the, through the signal boost. The redesigned LED lights, uh, they're actually 10,000 lumens, um, which, is, which is fantastic for internal uh, inspection because it actually lights up the, the whole area. Um, but what it does mean also is now you've got dust-proof lighting, uh, so you can actually turn off the front light and so you can actually see great data for, you know, uh, 10, 20 metres. Uh, but one of the great features of having these, uh, th this lighting system is you can actually do oblique lighting. Uh, so when you go up against the wall, you can actually turn the drone, um, flick on one of the, the side lights uh, and it will give you a, a full image of all of the, all the cracks, uh, imperfections, holes um, that you wouldn't be able to see if you're doing a, a face-on inspection. Yeah, in fact, uh, they've actually teamed up with Pix4D, who have uh, taken the, the camera features from the Elios 2 and input them into, uh, into Pix4D Mapper. Um, now, because you don't have the cage rolling over, it's going to take 4K imagery uh, and it's going to be a full video uh, that you can then process into Pix4D and create internal 3D maps. So, so some of the major benefits that the Elios 2 is going to provide its end users is having that high quality consistent data. Uh, you're not going to have the cage rolling over, you're going to be able to capture everything that you need to. This is a full solution now uh, with its GPS-less uh, sensors. You can actually go into an area um, and find what you want to look for and not do it um, as a, a contact inspection.